And out of the court battle over abortion access in Texas, women taking the stand, telling the court how they were forced to carry non-viable pregnancies to term. They say the state's restrictive abortion laws barred their doctors from helping them in their most darkest moments. NBC's Lindsay Reiser has the story, and we want to warn you, parts of the story are very graphic and disturbing. In an Austin courtroom searing an emotional testimony in a case with major implications for abortion access in Texas. They were detecting whether her heart was beating or not, and if it stopped, then they would be able <laughs> then they would be able to intervene. Four women, part of a lawsuit against the state's restrictive abortion law, taking the stand, describing their harrowing experiences carrying non-viable pregnancies. Ashley Brandt says she was forced to travel to Colorado to abort one of her twins, who had developed a crania, a fatal birth defect. I would have had to give birth to an identical version of my daughter without a skull and without a brain. The lawsuit is the first in the nation brought against a state by women who have been denied abortion access since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last summer. That ruling triggering a new law in the Lone Star State that outlawed abortion past six weeks in all cases unless the life of the pregnant person is in danger. But the plaintiffs argue the law is unclear about how that danger is defined and want to block the ban from applying to high-risk pregnancies. The laws as they're currently written, the medical exceptions, they're confusing. When patients where there's a gray zone and there's a lack of clarity, they're going to err on the side of not treatment. Samantha Cassiano told the court her child had developed anencephaly and was missing part of her skull and brain. The trauma of the experience causing Cassiano to vomit on the stand. I vomit when mm, there's certain parts that happen that kind of just makes my body remember and it just reacts. Doctors who perform unlawful abortions in Texas could have their medical licenses revoked, be fined $100,000 or more, or face up to life in prison. My maternal fetal medicine doctor looked me in my face and said, because of the law, I literally cannot help you, or I would have a year and a half ago. My hands are completely tied. I can do nothing. The state argues that the plaintiffs are on an ideological crusade and that what happened to these women, while tragic, is in the past and any future harm is hypothetical. The blame directed at defendants is misplaced. Rather, Plaintiffs sustain their alleged injuries as a direct result of their own medical providers failing them. The state's only witness saying the problem is with the doctor's lack of understanding of the law. I've seen doctors say that they can't intervene until there's an immediate risk. This is further demonstration that they have not read the law carefully. Now the court is left to decide whether one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country can stand as written. There is no statement of pro-life in the state when you send me home to wait for my baby to die inside me. It's not pro-life. In a sense, it's almost pro-torture. Tom, the judge will decide to either grant the temporary injunction blocking this ban from applying to high-risk pregnancies or dismiss the lawsuit altogether. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.